iPhoto has been the photo editor of OS X for the last 13 years, and Apple's finally decided it's time for a change. That change is Photos, replacing both iPhoto and Aperture. Photos is easier to use and more streamlined to help keep your precious photos organized and to edit them into masterpieces. So, here's everything you need to know about the new Photos app. The first thing you'll notice is the design. It's a lot flatter than iPhoto and very similar to Photos on iOS. With a lot more visual space for your photos, and navigation has been moved to the top with tools and options hidden away until needed. And as it's been designed from the ground up, they've built in iCloud support, unlike the way it was added onto iPhoto afterwards, which felt buggy and slow. In the last few years, Instagram has completely changed how we see photos, and the main thing that people love? The filters. Well, built right into photos are better filters, which was much needed after the very amateur looking presets within iPhoto. There is still the ability to fine tune your photos too, so don't worry if you like to tweak them yourself. Now, you may not be the best photographer, and trying to figure out if your photo is level can be time consuming. Well, no problem. Photos can automatically crop and straighten your image to ensure it's in perfect harmony with the rule of thirds. One of the worst things about iPhoto is when you started to gather too many images. It would start to slow down and if not managed correctly, it would start to look messy. Well, Photos changes all of that as it's built to manage large libraries. And scrolling through all of my pictures is a breeze. If you're an avid Facebook or Twitter user, you can still share them along with any app or service that adds support via an extension. If you've ever ordered any printed books from Apple, you'll know how beautiful and crisp the images look once they arrive. Well, now new themes have been added to the projects tabs. Everything from panoramas to square albums or even huge canvases. So there you have it, a quick look at the Photos app in action. But a lot of you will be wondering if it's better than iPhoto and Aperture. Well, it depends. If you're a major Aperture user, a lot of the settings and tools are completely gone. So you'll probably want to stick to Aperture. If you mainly use iPhoto though, Photos will be great, as it's basically the iOS editor on your Mac. It's a lot more lightweight and a lot easier to use. But what do you think? Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button as it really does help us out. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll see you next time.